Hello and welcome to Invision News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. Investors who have invested in the Vasinko Group are at a risk of fresh assessment. The Income Tax Department has issued fresh instructions to assess the account of all such investors, as per which all of them have to prove the income source of the investment amount they have made in cash in Vasinko Group. It was after the investors filing a police complaint against the Vasinko Group that the case was filed in the MPID court. All those people who deposited money in the fake scheme of Vasinko Group have been issued notice by the Income Tax Department under Section 148 of the Income Tax Act. Department under Section 148 of the Income Tax Act, Prashant Vasankar and others who are accused in this case are guilty of about 128 crore fraud by opening a fake investment company. Further investigation in the case is underway and the Income Tax Department is cracked down. In a swipe at the center, Home Minister Anil Deshmukh on Monday said, whoever speaks against policies or a leaders of the BJP is facing action by the central agencies. A day after it came to light that the ED had summoned Shiv Sena, MP Sanjay Rao's wife in the PMC Bank money laundering case. Speaking to reporters here, he also said that the use of the ED for political purpose had never happened in Maharashtra. Anybody who speaks against BJP faces the ED or CBI. As far as the CBI is concerned, we have taken a decision that any probe by that agency in Maharashtra cannot be pursued without the state government's permission. However, the right of ordering ED inquiry is with them. But using this right for political purpose was something never seen in Maharashtra, Deshmukh added. Kite flying has started in Nagpur as Sankranti season is underway and kids and adults alike are flying kites these days. Against this backdrop, the Nagpur Municipal Corporation has municipality has stopped up taken action against banned plastic kites and nylon maja users. A fine of Rs 5000 was recovered in the aftermath of five operations carried out in the three zones on Monday. While there is growing awareness about the ban on the use of plastic kites and nylon manja, some traders are selling them in the market illegally. As per the order of the Municipal Commissioner, action has been initiated against such traders. On Monday, on 28th December, one action was taken under Lakshminagar zone, two actions under Sadranjipura zone and two actions under Ashinagar zone. 5,000 rupees was recovered during these actions. 225 plastic kites were also seized. Dr. Punjab Rao Deshmukh was the father of the agricultural revolution. Shikshan Maharshi and the country's former agriculture minister who rendered enormous contribution for the country. On the occasion of the birth anniversary of Punjab Rao Deshmukh, the Minister of State for Energy and District, Guardian Minister Dr. Nitin Rao, as well as Sports Minister Sunil Kedar and other dignitaries paid tribute to him and reminisced his contribution for the country. On the occasion, on the occasion, the statue of Punjab Pradesh Mukh was garlanded by Dr. Nitin Rao and Sports Minister Kedar also gave a speech on the occasion and paid tribute by laying a floral wreath. Officers and employees of the Punjab Pradesh Mukh Agriculture University, office bearers of various educational and social organizations, office bearer of local self governing bodies, dignitaries in the political and social sphere were present in large numbers. NMC office bearers to pay tribute. Members of the Nagpur Municipal Corporation's Nuisance Detection Squad on Monday took action against 139 irresponsible citizens who did not wear masks and recovered a fine of Rs 69,500 from them. Masks were also given to all these citizens. In the last few months, search team have taken action against 25,640 citizens and so far a total fine of Rs 1 crore 11 lakh 79,000 has been recovered from them. Although the number of corona patients was decreased, the risk of coronavirus infection has not been uh, averted yet. Even now, in many places, social distancing is not being observed. In urban areas, it is common to see unmasked citizens walking around. Therefore, the NDS team is taking strict action against the citizens who are indulging their own and their families and societies held in such an irresponsible manner and they are being provided with masks. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family. Please keep watching NBC News. Sachi Dikhai, Vinachupai.